Hi, this is Megan with Beataholic, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Wigjig Spiral Maker. And this is the Wigjig Spiral Maker. It's this handy little doodad here, and it works with any of the wig jigs. There are two different sizes for the two different size holes that come on the wig jig. So I have the Centaur and I have the Spiral Maker that is compatible with that. And this is a spiral that I made with the Spiral Maker. It's really handy. So it's very easy to use. You just want to start with a length of wire and it does work best with a dead soft wire. And I'm just going to straighten up my wire first. It's always best to start with your wire nice and straight Oops! before you bend it up. It makes it easier to work with. Now what we're going to do is you can see I don't know if you can see, but there are four little holes next to the little peg on the spiral maker. So those are going to accommodate your wire and you fit the wire into the smallest hole it'll fit in. So there's two smaller ones and two larger ones. I have 18 gauge and it's about the biggest that's going to fit in the smaller hole. So you bring your wire up through the hole all the way, but not sticking out just so where you can feel it poking you in the thumb, but don't poke yourself too hard and then bend the wire against the edge of the spiral maker. Then fit the spiral maker into a hole on the wig jig and push that down to really get that bend in there. And now the spiral maker is going to be sitting on the wig jig separated only by the width of that wire there. So now we're going to flip it over so that you can see through and see what's going on under there. And we're going to hold your fingers against the wire and let it feed through, but keep the tension nice and tight on there. And just bend the wire by turning your spiral maker. If you keep your tension too tight here, you'll get kind of an oval. If you but you do want to keep it tight enough that it doesn't get messy. So the first way that you can do this, you always want to start by turning the spiral maker to do the first part of the turn. You can continue to do that. You just need to make sure that you're holding this really firmly against the wig jig because you want to make sure that your spirals as they loop around, that they stay flat and that they don't double up. So you can do it this way. Another way to do it would be to hold these together really firmly and bend the wire around. The important part is just to make sure that as you work that the new row is going to the outside and not overlapping. And that can be a little challenging. So if you were to use a harder wire, it wouldn't stay in a nice tight spiral. It would spring back more. So you do want to use a dead soft. And you just continue to wrap around until your spiral is the size that you want. And it, you are going to need to stay within the size of the spiral maker. Otherwise it won't stay flat for you. Pull the peg off. And now you have this nice flat wire spiral, which can be challenging to get it all the way flat like that. So you have a peg going up this way and you have the tail this way. So however you want to use this piece in your, this component in your piece will determine which of these you're going to use. You can make a loop with this tail piece sticking up if you want it to hang this way. Or as I did in this one, you can make a loop with this tail piece here and just clip off whichever pieces you're not going to use. So you could use this as a dangle, a charm, an earring, anything like that. And also you could hang it that way. And that's how you use the spiral maker for the wig jig.